Hello, humans, and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer Retro Memories. That's right. Today, I want to take a look at a video from the past. And you guys have to remember when the Super NES had people going to therapy. That's right. Women, children, parents going to therapy over a video game. Don't believe me? Oh, let's go back in time here. Uh, she was, you know, my friends and I, she was the babe newscaster. <laughs> like 12 years old or something but check this report out here but have things gone a bit too far this evening ken shockney wraps up a special report on video mania does this really have to cost this much where should the anger be directed not at the parents but at the what the manufacturer does so it has come to this therapy sessions for families whom you could call nintend pendant nintend pendant <laughs> Oh, man, these are the parents, right? These are the parents of the kids that probably became parents to the ones that are stopping traffic in L.A. now, right? Or <laughs> this is NBC L.A., by the way. <laughs> They're the parents of the kids that are gluing themselves to roads, right? They're talking this out. Guys, uh, when I was growing up, and probably were a lot of you Gen Xers growing up, and for those of you who don't know, let me tell you if you're younger in your audience here, if our parents did not want us to play a video game, there was no therapy session. None of this crap. If mom or dad said, dad said, stop playing the video game, you would stop playing the video game, period. Why? What was the other side of that? Getting your ass whooped. <laughs> you know, if you wanted extra playing time, right? Parents back then didn't play. Right? Not like today. Nobody was talking to you. Nobody's going to counsel you. There's no therapy. There's just the belt, right? They get in your ass in the room after you get whooped, and you can go cry over there, and they'll put it away and take it away from you, and they don't care. They don't care if your soul breaks. You have to follow the rules, right? Just like you would do in the real world. That's why you have to discipline your kids because there's real consequences to your actions, right? And real consequences for not following through. You know, now we can see a plethora of these people in videos on on TikTok, on the internet, having meltdowns in stores, and, uh, you know, just not being good human beings out there to the rest of society, right? Uh, but these are it, right? <laughs> they started off in these uh, therapy rooms. No one, nobody from the generate, very few, I should say very few from Generation X can relate to this, right? Our parents taking us to therapy because we don't want to put our our, you know, our video games down, and now we have to blame, what, we're blaming Nintendo? We're blaming, no. How about you just take away the video game and whoop their ass? <laughs> like we got, when, when we were kids, this was actually happening. Like this was on the news. Now what I want to know, right? Who was brave enough? Who thought it was a good idea to become immortal <laughs> in the annals of video game history by showing your face to these therapists. Of course, peer pressure starts. I feel maybe exploited. Psychologists' offices might get more crowded this holiday season. Just in time for Christmas, the Japanese toy maker Nintendo has come out with a new set of electronic video games. You heard him right. <laughs> you have to go to the shrink. You're not going to be able to handle this without professional <laughs> mental health. <laughs> mental help. I mean, Jesus Christ. At $200, a Super Nintendo setup costs twice as much as the old system, and you can't mix and match. For the money, the company promises better pictures, sound, and adventures. Some of the new games look like updated takes on fairly well-known formats. Can you guys imagine this come out on TV right now? <laughs> Oh, man. In a recent game of F-Zero, <laughs> you're in a futuristic world. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, I guess I should watch where I'm driving instead of talking. The 3D effect, as you can see, is pretty good by video game standards. It's a nice clear stretch, even if I am in reverse. Let's see if we can't turn the car around right about now. Oh, man. If you're video a really good player, right meaning you've got the skill of a 9 or 10-year-old, you can oh, even try to... Guys, I mean... <laughs> Jeez. You know, but going back to my original point, you know, you have to have discipline in your household, right? And we can see what the lack of discipline 
has uh, <laughs> made to has done to our society, right? We have kids riding out in the streets, you know, and for many of us, right? For many of us, if I was right now riding in the streets, you forget about what the cops would do to me. It's what our parents would do to us, right? If we were caught on camera outside, these kids have no fear because they've taken the teeth out of parenting. That's our society now. But you know what? If you don't discipline your kids, the world will discipline them for you. That's how you end up in the pokey. So <laughs> let's continue. Refusing to be taken in. I'm going to say no, and I'm going to explain to him how people market things to make you spend more money. Nintendo. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Explaining is not going to work. Being broke would work, right? Uh, but again, you know, I mean, watching these all these years later, Right. It's it's uh, insane. The perspectives we had back then. Right. And how we look at it now and how much more kids are playing video games now. Oh, man, what a world we live in. What a world that it has become. Right. And, uh, you know, we have to set limits on our kids. You know, we have to put boundaries and all these other things. You know, and uh, if my kid, right, if my kids want to play video games, when I say they can't, we're not going to therapy, let me tell you that. <laughs> but in my case, in my high household, I always told them there was going to be consequence. You, you want to play video games? You want to finish your homework? You want to play? I don't care if you play till 12, right? As long as you wake up at 6, right? And this is a very Hispanic thing, right? It, when it comes to Hispanics, uh, we call them vicios, you know, vices, but you have to pay for them, right? This is very cultural. So, for example, let's say you like going out drinking or whatever in, in, in the weekends, right? You do whatever you're going to do. As long as your ass is up at 6 a.m. so you can be at work on time, that's what you do. If you go into work half dead, missing a leg, one eye, it doesn't matter you're going to show up to work. So you always have that responsibility. And that's how I grew up with my kids. You want to stay up later doing this? Okay, but I'm still waking your ass up at 5 a.m. and we're going to take a shower. We're going to do everything else, right? And it only took a couple of those sessions of them waking up with very little sleep, making them go to school anyway, and then being miserable, coming home and you know passing out after school and still making them do their homework and the whole rest. Only took a couple of those times and then the, they themselves govern themselves in order to be more efficient with their time, right? Because there was no breaks, right? The discipline had to stay there. And, you know, I'm not going to say all kids were the same, right? <laughs> Some of them lasted <laughs> longer, but eventually they all fell into line. Eventually they all learned that even though you could, you know, play video games until three in the morning, there would be a price to pay for it. And I didn't have to pay, you know, $500 to a therapist to teach them that, nor did I have to beat them senseless like we got beaten Gen X times, right? There can be a happy medium. But it's just crazy to imagine that we were at a time where Nintendo, Super Nintendo in this case, was sending people to the therapist. That is just nuts. All right, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Take care.